Do you have the courage to succeed in this business? There are so many people that I've interviewed over the years who want to come in the business, who tell a terrific story about how successful they're going to be and how much money they're going to make and how many people will trust them. And then when the reality of our job appears, it's not a liquid. When they're faced with the ongoing daily service of objections, of rejection, it burns a lot of them out. Causes many of them to run away from us because it's really hard, this business. The financial services business is hard. I don't care what your company's telling you and your recruiter's telling you and your manager's telling you. It's difficult and it takes people with courage, people with an intestinal fortitude, people with guts to put up with it, to overcome it, to settle into the profession, to be successful. It's not suitable for everybody. It's not an easy job because we take something very intangible, an investment, savings, security, protection, all these things that sort of float out here that aren't tied to the ground. It's not like the chair I'm sitting in or the shirt I'm wearing or the room I'm sitting in or the drink I can drink. It's an idea, it's a concept. And we take that concept and we give it out to the world with hopes that we run across people who buy the concept, who understand the importance of paying themselves first by saving for the future and living on the difference. Understand people who are responsible and love their family, their friends, whomever, and want to protect them should anything happen to them. The people who truly love their families and want to take care of them because there's many people like that in the world. But we run into a lot of people who don't care. We run into a lot of people financially can't do anything at this moment. We run into a lot of people who make sort of comments about us not truly knowing who we are. And when you face that rejection, Did you say no? when people bang you into the ground and say, no, I don't want to talk to you and you guys are a bunch of crooks and everything else that they say, it's hard. It's really, really hard. But I'm telling you, if you learn this profession, if you treat it as a career, not as a job, if you pay the price, if you invest the time, if you memorize, you practice, and you settle into the career, it becomes easier. And you understand after a while is that first and foremost, when people reject, they are not rejecting you. They're rejecting the circumstance, the situation, their own reality. And all you can do is keep offering. Keep offering, I'm here to help. I'm here to make a difference. Please give me an opportunity. So the question is, do you have the courage to walk that path? That's probably one of the more difficult paths to walk in any profession because people have an opinion about what you do and feel free to state it. And that's tough. I get it. So it's up to you. The opportunity's there. The processes are there, the systems are there, there's things to memorize, there's things to practice, there's things to experience when you go out and do it. And just realize, those people that you see in our profession that are doing well have paid that price and are stronger because of it. Are you strong enough? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be reminded, and the like button if you like what you hear, and share any comments you'd like. Until next time, bye for now.